the storm of gaming be with you. Ignition. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Storm Striker SX9 here with part five of my Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition. Let's play for. Storm Singularity, part of Summertime Splash, and the RPG game series with Storm Striker S69. In the last episode, we uh, just got back from, do, from going to the Jefferson Memorial and doing the stuff over there. And then we finally met the Enclave as well. And, uh, yeah. So we, we had to go through the tunnel system to get to the Citadel, which we are ne where we are now. And it, we are now with the Brotherhood of Steel, where I learned how to wear power armor. And now I ha also have a companion now. Her name is Star Paladin Cross, and she's going to be coming with us on our journey from here on out. So, let's go and continue, shall we? So, next up on our journey, we are headed to Little Lamplight, because we're headed to Vault 87. So, to get there, we're going to go there from Smith Casey's Garage. Oh, this is going to be fun. Enemy contact! Enemy contact! Where? I've got plenty more. Come on! It's just the darn sentry box. It's a sentry bot. Okay. There's still some enemies nearby. They're probably all sentry bots since they're all over the place over here. Turn the light on. I can't see. Oh, there we go. Light was on. Reload. Don't walk into a tree branch. See, this is why I need to... We need light or we can't see, you know? There we go. Hey, look. Great. This is Brotherhood so Outcast. Wildlife. Great. Here's some of the local wildlife. Do I look like a local wildlife to you? Do I look like a wandering dog? Wandering aimlessly for food? Anyways... Hey! A mole rat down there. I'm going back! And a rad scorpion.
Yep, we have to go walking and again. So let's get our exercise in, shall we? Yep, I hear another sentry bot in the distance. Nice shot! Head shot! That Protectron didn't see it coming either. It can't it came from behind. Super mutants! One super mutant? <laughs> and we missed the other shot, god dang it. Well anyways, we got a headshot. Now let's get another one. Headshot. Make that two headshots. This is so much fun. I bet you're enjoying this, aren't you, guys? <laughs> At least I'm shooting that from a distance. Looks like we made it to Little Lamplight, and it is now marked on the map as well. Hold it right there, mister! Take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. Whoa! Hold on there, I'm a friend! You're kidding me, right? I ain't kidding. You're not supposed to be here, so you better leave. I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. Monsters? What monsters? The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. What is this place? This is Little Lamplight. We live here, and we don't need no Mungos messing it up. So just take a hike. Can I come in? Hell no! No mungos allowed! Oh, come on! I'm a nice guy, really. May I please come in? Well, okay. But you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. Jeez! Okay, Sorry, I missed you. you know what this reminds me of, right? Me too. The Lost Boys from Peter Pan.
gosh, you're big. What the hell is RJ thinking, letting a damn mungo like you in here? So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, mungo! I don't work for anyone, but give me any trouble and you'll regret it! The mayor let me in. I'm not here to cause problems. Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm Princess, and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, Mungo. I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. What's it like guarding the back gate? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate. But RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Shooting at me would have been a bad mistake, kid. Oh really? That's a cute little imagination you've got. But if you want to play make-believe, maybe you should do it with the younger brats. How did someone like... Never mind. I'm leaving. Get back to your garden. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. Oh, we gotta go back to talk to that kid again. They're calling us Mungos. Yes, this definitely comes from the Lost Boys from Peter Pan. There's also another movie like this. Where the kids are stranded on an island after a plane crash. Hey! And they have to live among themselves and survive. Do you know the name of the movie I'm speaking of? Let me know in the comments below. See what I mean? This looks exactly like The Lost Boys. Look at this. has the Lost Boys written all over it. Watch it! Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. I'm not planning on starting any trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. How do you keep this place organized? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here, and the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. How did you get to be in charge of this place? It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. You said everyone has to leave eventually? People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungo's living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. At least that's the line Joseph teaches. But really, we simply don't have enough space or food for everyone to stay here forever. So, I've got to exile some to avoid ruining the whole town. It's a fucking hard, brutal choice to make, but that's the way we stay alive. That's all I need to know for now. About time. Who are you? I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor. And I don't like strangers or mungos. Can you give me directions? What do I look like, your tour guide? I need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. So you know the way to get there? Yeah. I do. 
It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. That's the only way? It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. Where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. I want to go, I want to use Murder Pass to reach Bolt 87. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Finally! Some action! Where's the action, kid? By the way, that kid said the F word more than I did when I was 12. And I didn't say it at all. Every time I said a bad word when I was a kid, I got my face slapped. <sighs> Where did you learn that language, son? You know. Gee, I wonder why, how I learned it. Yay! The power of editing! Alright. We got super mutants to take out. Ooh. That is a super mutant overlord. Okay. I see why those kids are scared to come down here. They're beyond the gate or super mutant. Okay, we gotta heal. We have not died yet, but that could still be a possibility, by the way. Gotta be careful. Just because we're level 40 and on easy mode doesn't mean I can still just, we can still die if we do something foolish. That warlord is annoying. Headshot. Alright. Jeez! The Super Mutant Overlords take at least three hits. Kill. Sometimes four. Game's over! Ah, I'm gonna game over your butt! Game over for you! Anybody's gonna get a game over, it's gonna be super mute. Game over! Trying to talk like a super mutant. <laughs> oh, that's a dead end.
He got pinned to the wall, didn't he? Oh, we got to heal again. Also, I think our weapon is damaged. We're going to have to switch. We're about to lose the sniper rifle. No more games. I'm gonna no more games your butt. Everybody's allowed to play games. Yeah, take that. Look out! Yeah. Targeted! Ooh. Victory! Off with your head! Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them, Starman. You're allowed to play games. All right, we made it into the vault. Oh. Okay, part of it anyways. Reactor chamber. Picking up the trail. All right, we're going to have to change weapons. It's about to get real interesting real quick. We're changing to the Desert Dragon. Oh my god. Rad roaches. like swinging that warhammer of yours. He just fell right on his head. Did you see that ragdoll? Ragdoll kung fu! That coward! Time to die! Hey coward! Stop hiding! That was funny! <laughs> Do you see that?
He was blinded by the light. We got to heal again. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're, t we're taking out these super mutants. for crying out loud. No, we're going up. Why are we going back up? We need to go down, not up. Wait. Are we going in circles? Okay. Yeah. See what I mean? I've gotten lost, even though I've been in here thousands of times before. You know? <laughs> there you are! Gosh darn overseer! <laughs> Overlord, whatever. Trying hard. I gave that lady my shotgun. Is she even using it? Oh my god, we need to heal. Oh my god. Standing in a room with two overlords. You tell me if that's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just went flying. Flying off the rails. Changing weapons again, since Desert Eagle ain't doing very much damage and we're about to lose it. Let's change to the M. Let's change to this. You're getting in the line of fire. Okay, that's oh. not doing any damage. If we die, oh my god. Oh, well, he changed it to a pile of goo. She's unconscious, she's not dead. Like, oh my god. We are going up against Overlord Super Mutants. 
You run into them after your level 40, by the way. Over here! Where? The wasteland will forget you ever existed. I'm hit! Yeah, right in the head. Did I give you a headache? Victory. I gave him a splitting headache. Healing again. Oh my god, all these overlord super mutants. Test lab. Get away from me! Oh, we need to heal again! We need to heal again! We need to heal again! Don't hesitate! Stop hesitating! Okay, stupid super mutant. You don't have to tell me that. All clear. Stand down. You stop hesitating. Yes, I'm human, but what are you? Me? You care who I am? Mm, forgive me. I, I'm not used to pleasantries. I'm more used to grunts and being struck about by the others. My name's Fox. I've lived in this cage all my life. That, how ironic that the others consider you a mutant of a, of other kind. Yes. Indeed, it is ironic. Forgive my astonishment, but I hadn't expect to meet someone with such a learned outlook of these things. It is a pleasant change. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone like you showed up for the Gek. What do you know about the Gek? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Why would you help me? Good. Tell me everything you know about it then. Not so fast. Quid. Pro. Quo, my friend. If I'm to do this service for you, I expect to get something in return. Release me from this makeshift prison, and I will personally take you to the Gek and retrieve it for you. Why would I have difficulty getting the Gek? The chamber in which the Gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. How do I get you out? At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, 
What do you think? Can you do it? Okay, Fox, you've got a deal. I'm glad to see you are a sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. Remind me how to get you out of this room? Okay, I have to go. What do I do once I trip the fire console? I'll, I'll stay here until you've cleared a path to me. So just be careful. Some of these uh, failed experiments are quite nasty. I have to go now. It is my hope that we will speak again soon. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. We are not done. We are not done. Oh my god. Those are the failed experiments, by the way. Oh. Another stupid overlord! Oh my god. We need to heal, we need to heal, heal, heal. He's a puddle of goo. Almost said glue. Activate the fire alarm. Oh, he's red and good riddance. That guy must have been a raider. Vigilance is advised. Finally. Freedom! True freedom! Ha ha ha! I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea. How long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. All right, we gained good karma. Now we got to follow him. Don't worry, I'll be cutting out the parts where I got lost, so the video won't be so long. We still got more action ahead after this. Careful, you're getting in the line of fire! Guys! Pile of goo! Fire's key. Getting in the line of fire. Talking about my line of fire. I don't want to accidentally shoot them. Fox, you're in the line of fire. Sound the all clear. Oh my 
my god, they got in, into my line of fire! He got shot in the back. They never learn, do they? Okay, well, no more vats. No more vats. No more vats. They're gonna get in the line of fire. They're... I'm not gonna do that anymore. I gotta heal again. Oh my god, stop! Why did they get in the line of fire like that? It's so stupid! They're, you know what? Just let them fight. Oh my god. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> I'm not following him. I know where that goes. Wait, I gotta wait here. Okay. Okay. You stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. I know my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Gonna wait here. That's what he said to do, unless you want me to get radiation poisoning. I gotta heal. Also, I am changing my weapon. Although it won't make any sense, because pretty soon we're going to be uh, having a visit from a certain enclave. I'm not saying when, though, but I'm expecting it. Are you expecting it? I would use the Black Hawk, but. Go back to the. Go back to the sniper rifle. You sure are taking your sweet time, Fox. Are you okay? I hear the big flat foot, the big fat footsteps coming. You're on point. I shall back you up. As promised, yeah, here's the geck. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. All right, now we go to Escape Vault 87. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. 
Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. Where am I? So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. What the hell is going on here? I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier, now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now, and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? Why do you want this code so badly? You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. The code is 216. Let's just make sure you're telling the truth. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, oh. soldier? Affirmative, sir. Standing by for code transmission. Your code is 216. Repeat. 216. Confirm and enter. Copy 216. Stand by, sir. Entering code now. Confirm. That's the correct code. Systems coming online now, sir. I'll have a full report shortly. Thank you for cooperating. I'm afraid we no longer have need of your services. Oh. Excuse me? Oh. I just did an F-bomb! So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. Get me out of here now! If you tell me the code, it might be worth your life. But you're really not in a position to be demanding anything, are you? Fuck you, I'm not telling you anything. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. Okay, okay, just don't hurt me. I'm waiting. The code is 704. Very well. We'll just verify that now. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place? Whatever you do, don't give him the right code. You saw what would happen if you do that. Your code is seven. He will kill you anyway. Repeat. Seven zero four. Confirm and enter. Copy. Seven zero four. Stand by, sir. Entering code now. Negative, sir. The code's no good. I just lost another man. Why do you insist on making things difficult? Maybe I should start shooting. How much blood you think you can afford to lose before you tell me what I want to know? Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. My, my, my. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. 
You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. I wonder who that mysterious voice was in that mechanical eyeball of his. Also, we are now putting on the Enclave power armor. Because we're gonna need it. Also, it's time to equip the plasma rifle again. It's going to get fun. Actually, I'm putting the sniper rifle on. We're gonna need it. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. I'm on my way to see the president now. How about I put in a good word for you? Uh, you are? I, I mean, uh, you would? Just make sure he knows I was real strict with you, okay? And that I didn't have my uniform on backwards this time. He was wearing his Attention uniform backwards? This is your That's president. Right. Just Speaking. down this way. I've invited you everyone well. else from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you. Have your weapon ready. It doesn't matter. We're going to get shot at anyways. I got my weapon ready. We are now in the facility of the Enclave. It's about to get Hello. very... It's about to get hairy very quick. Seriously? We just went in circles. Oh my god. Did you see that? We just had, we just took a lap. Another lap. Oh my gosh. Oh. Where? No, that's another cell. Oh my god. I nearly fell. Oh, this is going to be fun. That's a super mutant in that tube. Hey. Attention. This is cut. Target locked. Headshot! Tango spotted! Open! Oh. Headshot! Enemy located! We can finally give them headshots! We got our shooter our way to the damn president! Yep, that's who's running the Enclave. They have a contact here. Surprise, surprise, right? Don't you run away. You're getting it too. Wow. Okay. Oh. 
Can I have your armor? Also, I'm going to take those cells, too. Let me have your armor as well. Now I can repair what I'm wearing. All right. This must be their command center. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? What you're about to see, I hope, is not the future. In real life, I mean. I know, this is just a video game. Face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. If we're meeting face to face, then show yourself. Don't hide behind a monitor. It's pleased to make you. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. President. You're too kind. The pleasure is mine, I assure you. I've been anxious to make your acquaintance for some time. You and I have much to discuss, my young friend. I'm listening. Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. Can you explain what you mean? My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. Say whatever you, it is you have to say. Our land is ravaged by mutation. The war was so many years ago, and yet we still suffer from its effects. We cannot move forward until humanity can gain a solid foothold in the world. To do so, we must rid ourselves of the mutations that have plagued us for so long. These super mutants, ghouls, hideous creatures. I believe your father's work can do that in a way unlike any other. My father's work, how is that relevant? The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. How exactly would I go about doing this? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? No way, I'm not doing that. I find that unfortunate and most disappointing. I must impress upon you the severity of the situation. I cannot allow you to leave unless the vial is in your possession.
This has to end, Eden. You need to destroy yourself and this base. I'm afraid I won't oh my be God. persuaded. It failed. The powers you may have over the average wastelander are ineffectual on me. You can't be president. You're in abortion of science. You need to die. Really? Do go on. You aren't programmed for self-awareness. You said so yourself. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended. But shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? But how do you know that what you're doing is right? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. And how do you know you're un infallible? Because I've been programmed to be, of course. That's surgical logic. You know, because you know. It makes no sense. Processing. Internal logic error detected. I think you're delusional. I think the world would be better off without you. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps, well, perhaps there is a problem. I, I am unsure how to proceed. Shut yourself down. Shut this whole place. Processing directive. New directive accepted. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is advised to remove hazardous FEV material and exit at once. All right, we getting out of here. We gotta go. Self-destruct sequence activated. Okay. <laughs> Notice how that robot of a president it's just a robot. He's not really a president. It's it's not a human president. It's a robot. I know, right? I hope that doesn't happen in the future. I know, this is just a video game, so anything could happen. We are outside. And it is dark out here. My friend, I see I found you at last. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue to repay my debt to you. Looks like you've got a new toy, huh? Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. <laughs> oh, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Fox, what the hell are you doing out here? What makes you think I wanted a monster like you following me? Oh, I'm not saying that. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Uh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. Karma, I could always use a hand. Would you like to follow me? I was in that situation once myself. Deal with it. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? We can, you can follow me for now. But once we get in front... Oh my god! Na 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 hey, hey. Goodbye Enclave
Oh, wow. He actually did it! Self-destruct sequence activated! Kaboom! Now we gotta go back to the Citadel. Oh my god, this was loads of fun. But once we get back to the Citadel, we have to let Fox go. Because I don't want a super mutant following me when I'm with the Brotherhood of Steel. Because they will shoot him on sight. <laughs> Something troubling you, my friend? You're fired, Fox. Stop following me around. Are you certain? Yes, I'm certain. I'm disappointed, but I cannot say I'm surprised. If you change your mind, I shall be... Uh, studying in the American History Museum, downtown. Dark Paladin Cross should be back here in the Citadel after I got captured, so... Need something, friend? Oh my goodness. That was loads of fun. And so you return. It is good to see you, Hale. How may I help you, my friend? I would like your assistance once again, Paladin Cross. And it is my duty to offer it, as I have sworn. I shall follow and protect you. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. Don't walk they in front of me. Before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Well, sort of. I found the Gek. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Well, it's not quite that simple. I don't have the Gek anymore. The Enclave took the Gek. They're installing it now. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Eden wanted me to sabotage the project with some kind of virus. The Enclave is fractured. They're not as unified as they'd like us to believe. The Enclave doesn't have the activation code. They can't start the purifier. Well, that gives us a little more time. But how long do we have before they figure it out? This makes this situation far more dire. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly, I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, 
It won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The Pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? I'll take the power armor. Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Of course I can! Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. I think I need another minute or two. Hurry it up! Every minute you take is one more that we can't afford to spend. We will continue this another time. We have to end the episode here. And we're also changing power armors. We also need to end the episode here. All right. So we made good progress. Lots and lots of progress. So we went to Vault 87 and we found the Gek. We shot a whole bunch of super mutant overlords. Oh my gosh. Nearly died twice or three times. We did die once in this episode. If you give the Enclave the correct code, they're going to shoot you anyways without even your gear. So don't give him the correct code. You know what's going to happen if you do. I gave him, I, we tried again the second time, we gave him the wrong code, and that's where President Eden talked to us, and then we had to fight our way to the president, talk to the President Eden, we convinced him to self-destruct, and we had to take the virus, we're not going to use it at all, we're going to dispose of it, and the next episode is going to be a fun one. So I can't wait. We are getting near the end of Fallout 3's main campaign. But we still got more to do after this. So like I said, we're going to be doing the DLCs too. Because after the main campaign is Broken Steel. So yeah, this is going to be a fun one. And oh boy, I can't wait. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did make it to this part to the end of this video make sure to click the like button comment below share with your friends and favorites and click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell to know when i upload new videos all right see you guys next time storm striker sx9 out let me make sure to save it as well